of Palm Beach. I've been trying to look, I've been uh, educating myself to think like the Palm Beach life. And uh, I've come to some surprising life stances in this. I am living the Palm Beach life now, cruising the beach at dawn in a red Chrysler convertible with George Shearing on the radio and a head full of bogus cocaine. Two beautiful lesbians in the front seat beside me, telling jokes to each other in French. We are on our way to an orgy, and the girls are drinking champagne. There is a wet parking ticket flapping under the windshield, and it bores me. The girls are naked now, long hair in the wind and perfumed nipples bouncing in the dull blue light of the dashboard. One of them is tipping a glass of champagne to my mouth as we slow down for a curve near the ocean. And hello. And that's what you don't want to do, you silly bitch. There is a lot of wreckage in the fast lane these days. Not even the rich feel safe from it. People are looking for reasons. The smarts say they can't understand it. And the dumb snort cocaine and rich discos and stomp to a feverish beat. The stomping of the rich is not a noise to be ignored in troubled times. It usually means they are feeling anxious or confused. And when the rich feel anxious and confused, they act like wild animals. Bullshit, 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 idiot. Take back. Hover it. Hover it. Hover it. Hover it. Hover it. Hover it. Hover I was Hunter's fact checker on that story. Now, to be Hunter Thompson's fact checker is one of the sketchiest professions in all of journalism. And Hunter takes it totally seriously. The stuff that he wants to get right that's not in the gonzo realm, you know, he really wants to get right. You know, Hunter's great aphorism about fact checking is, if you call somebody a thieving pig fucker, you better be able to produce the pig. When you go against taboos, you bring a, a combination of humor and seriousness to it, which uh, opens a few more doors than if you bring a sledgehammer. Occasionally I'll make a mistake. I don't like to hurt people, but if you're gonna have to deal in this world, which is occasionally pretty rough, if you're gonna hurt somebody, usually by accident, then you may as well hurt the right people. And that's a value judgment. That's and, pretty uh, good. I mean, if, if I'm wrong, well, I'm gonna suffer for it. 